All right, how to do a email deliverability test using Glock apps. You get a subscription for Glock apps. You come in here and you click start a spam test. Then you got to copy these email addresses and put them into your to field. I had an issue where if I put them all in the to field, it reported an error. So I put half of them in the to field and I'm putting the other half in this field. I'm testing from outlook.office365.com. I just put in a, a demonstration subject and then I put in, grabbed a chunk of text from Wikipedia to simulate just some text in there. Deliverability is affected by how many words you have in your email, you know, and how many links and pictures and if it's a HTML. So I just chose a random chunk of text there. Then you got to copy this thing here this um, ID thing and you got to paste it here um, that's got to be in there otherwise the test won't work alright we're gonna click send and it gives me this message so I don't know what that's about okay so I ended up delivering or sending that message from another email client instead of the Outlook one I just used the SMTP information so kind of a flawed test sorry about that but uh, the results are coming in right now we got everything good so far there um, one email address isn't coming in so far only Outlook is complaining up oh, here we go now all of them are reporting good we got not spam not sp fishy everything's green this is nice still waiting for some data here but inbox placement 100% that's fantastic. That's what we want. Content analysis, HTML code. Looks like, um, let me fix that. Zero suggestions. All right. So I guess I kind of made that look easy in terms of getting 100%. Um, a lot of times it's not that easy. Now they also have tools like reoccurring tests and IP reputation monitor. You should look into those as well. The beauty of a recurring test is to have it automatically do the test and then inform you if your deliverability drops below 100%.